The following program has been brought to you by Sammy Joseph Ministries. And now for a continuation of his message, let's join Reverend Sammy. Uh, number one, she will let you know that she is single. She is single and she is complete. Uh, there are many people who are single but who are not who are not entirely single. They are still bound. They are still bound. They haven't found out about themselves. They don't know what they want. They don't know who they want to be with. They don't know what they want to do. Uh, they are not complete in themselves. But I, a completely single girl that is born again will let you know that she is complete. Uh, she doesn't need. She doesn't. She doesn't necessarily need a male uh, uh, to affirm her. She doesn't need a male. Uh, uh, she's not. She's not needy. She's not needy. She's not city. <laughs> she's not needy. She's not city. And she's not. She's not. She's not going to begin to uh, cheapen herself by 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 uh, begging for attention and 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 begging for for relationship. No, she is strong in the Lord. She has faith in the Lord. She's she's asking the Lord. Lord, send me my partner. She's been praying too. And she will let you know. She will let you know that she is she is single and she is complete. Not only single and complete, but she also lets you know that she's available. She's there are some there are some girls that, that are single, but they they are available to more than one person, more than one partner. So they're dating multiple partners. They they, they want to go out with five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people. My friend, if you're in that category, I am, I am, uh, the, the Bible didn't uh, categorically say you shouldn't do that, so I'm not going to say to you not to do that, but for me, I am not in that same uh, disposition of mind uh, in doing that. Uh, I believe that, that, that a single, uh, a completely single lady of Christian character will seek the face of the Lord and make herself available to one guy, Christian guy, at a time to be pursued by him. She will not be aggressively in pursuant of you. Listen to that. How do you know that, that she's into you? Uh, she'll give you a signal. She'll give you a signal like, hey, how you doing? She'll smile. She'll smile at you. Uh, it's just, uh, well, there are some people, there are some girls who smile at you and you don't, you don't say that Dr. Simon say every girl who smiles at me is showing me, is showing me the green light. Uh-uh. <laughs> you, you bump into, you bump into some bumper stickers sometimes if you take that as a generality rule to, uh, to, uh, to the game that we're talking about today in dating and friendship in looking for a spouse. Uh, yeah, yeah. The female will let you know that the female that is completely single, that is born again of the Holy Spirit, that is born by the power of God, will let you know that she is available only to you. And she will not be aggressively in pursuit of you. She may let you know, she may say, hey, listen, I am interested in you. What about that? Check that out. Check that out. She may say, I'm interested in you. Uh, and, 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 and then, and then she will tactically, uh, deliberately, watch my words, tactically and <laughs> deliberately withdraw, okay? She'll come apart with you sometime and, and, and come apart with you, come at you and let you know, hey, I am available. I'm interested in, I just like you. She may say, I just like you. I just like your smile. What about that? There's nothing wrong with that. She may just check you and say, wow, you are good looking. Oh, thank you. Don't just say thank you. She's, she's giving you vibes <laughs> and interest, interesting vibes uh, for you to wake up and, and know that she's available. She's interested in you. And then, you know, normally uh, godly girls give you uh, a signal and then they back off. They back off. Uh, so, you know, men and young men uh, and Christian men have always been thrown into confusion. I don't even understand what the female species is like. That's what they are like. That's how they are made. You know, she'll back away from you and do as if she's not interested at all in you. 
You know the interesting story of uh, Dr. the late Dr. Billy Graham and his late wife Ruth Graham, Ruth uh, Bell Graham, always ring true to me every time that I remember their book and how they met and 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 the moment that 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 Billy Graham saw Ruth uh, Ruth Bell, uh, you know he was like, "Hey, baby, I I want to take you out." The woman just the woman you you know you know drew back. Uh, but but later on in our journal, uh, it's revealed that she had written the first day that she met Billy, Oh Lord God Almighty, I just pray, that's a man with passion, that's a man that has his head right on his shoulder, he knows where he's going. Oh Lord God Almighty, she wrote, Ruth Bell Graham wrote, if I may just spend the rest of my life, this is a man you've chosen for me, uh, let me know it, and if I may just spend the rest of my life preaching the gospel with this man, I will be happy. But while she wrote that, that first day that she met Ruth uh, Billy Graham, she tactically withdrew away from him. And Billy Graham says that he thought at first that, oh, she has refused my advances. You know why? Because that's the way that godly girls do give you signals. Uh, they, 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 that's the female species. They, their job is to make themselves available and, you know, tactically withdraw. The girl in the world will, will be pursuant of you, will, will pursue you like a, like, like a lioness. She'll, she'll pursue you like a tigress, hungry tigress. She pursue you like Jezebel. She pursue you like like Portiphas' wife. She pursue you. She will pursue. She these days they say there there is a term they use. They call older women pursuing younger men. They call them cougars. <laughs> she pursue you like a cougar. Mm, that's that's the way of the world. That's the way of the cosmos. That's not the way of God. Number two, a godly girl that is interested in you will directly, like I said earlier, directly or indirectly inform you that she has you on her mind. You know, she may just, you know, uh, uh, give you her number uh, and you take her number uh, and she give you her number and, uh, and maybe the moment she took the number and you said bye to each other while you're still fumbling, you know, you know how we boys are, we men are, you, you, you put a card somewhere or put a number somewhere or you even forgot to store the number sometime. Oh yeah, man, I like that. Men will forget things, they will forget it else, not the girl. The girl will forget the first dress that she's wearing the first day she met you. The men can remember. They can't, they can't, we can't, we can't remember. Men, men will forget, some men will forget their birthdays. Uh, you had better not forget our birthday if you want to get her, okay? Because birthdays and ceremonies and anniversaries are a big deal for girls. I'll tell you that. That's the way God made them. That's the Almighty God working in them and through them uh, by the power of His creativity. So this girl will, will, will let you know that I've got you right on my mind. Georgia on my mind. Sammy on my mind. <laughs> she may just send you, oh, nice to meet you. Send you a quick text. Nice to meet you today. While you're still, you may not even know that she sent you a text and you go home two hours later and you fumbled with your phone. You discover, oh, tomorrow morning I'm just seeing, oh, she sent me a text. And then she will not send you a text again. And you go, what? What in the world is going on? She's trying to confuse, mess up my brain. No, she ain't trying to mess up your brain. That's just the way she, that's just the way that they are. Number three, she will test your attention. She will test your affection. I'm sorry, affection. Affection, if, if a girl sends you a text and, and you refuse to send a text back, uh, think about it. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? You're a gunner. You're a gunner. You're a gunner for good. You know, uh, my spiritual daddy and mommy, uh, Dr. Crevlo Dollar and uh, Mama Taffy Dollar, you know, uh, uh, Dr. Dollar will mention about how, how they were in the Bible study uh, that day and, and he'd been praying to the Lord that the Lord will bring the right woman in his life. And here came Mama Taffy and Mama Taffy, you know, very beautiful and nice lips and beautiful body and 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 they were praying and Dr. Dollar says that, that while they were praying, you know, the Holy Spirit said to him, Boy, open your eyes, 
open your eyes, look at that girl. And he opened his eyes and saw beautiful thighs and shorts. And it went, oh, he began to speak in tongues. I don't want to see. <laughs> you know, he's very funny. And but that's the Holy Spirit, you know, uh, uh, revealing to him that is the woman that I have in store for you to spend your life with. And uh, after the Bible study, uh, uh, Mrs. Duller, you know, uh, then not 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 married, uh, I just said to him, uh, uh, Kreflo, I'm interested in you. And she just walked off. And from then on, you know, Dr. Duller always will preach and say, I always feel happy, man. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Homie, I can, I can play this one. <laughs> But it says, no, he was wrong. He was wrong because uh, his wife, uh, you know, just just said, I'm interested in you. And that's the end of the story. And never, never showed him attention no more. Just, just, you know, left him alone. And, and but what she was saying to him was that if, if you are worthy enough, uh, if you don't know what to do with my, my signal that I gave you, then, then you're not worthy of me. Uh, but thank God that God in his, uh, in his knowledge and wisdom uh, made Papa Dola be able to, to be worthy of the signal that his wife gave him at that time. And, and he was now seeking the face of the Lord for them to, to uh, know whether they were meant to be together. She tested his affection. If a woman sent you, if a girl, woman, lady mm -hmm. sent you a text and you, you are the unsettled type, you are the, the rough type, you know, uh, some men, it doesn't mean that, it doesn't mean that he's not born again. It's, it's just meaning that uh, maybe he's, he, he has not been well taught by a good pastor. He has not been well coached by, by a good coach, a relationship coach. He has not been well, well tutored by, by his parents. And, and you, don't, you don't send a text back to the girl, man, within certain time, you may be a gunner. Sometimes she will push you a button. Oh, girls know how to do it. she push you a button. What I, what I say to people all the time is, you know, just be yourself. Be yourself and just be open. If you forgot to send a text right when she sent you a text, just make her, make her know that it wasn't that you were slighting her. She, she, she actually she wants she wants to know why you didn't send a text right on time. She wants to know because she cares about you. And now, oh bless your heart, if you're a homegrown boy and you're trying to cover up, she's gonna get you. She's gonna get you. She'll get you real tight, real bad. Listen to me. Uh, they always say that men have six six senses, all right, and that the girls have the seventh sense. Let me tell you something. Every girl, every born again, you know, Christian girl has not just the seventh sense, got the eighth sense of the Holy. In fact, that's the first sense, is the first sense of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will tell her what you're doing wrong. She knows. When she's asking you a question, she knows. She knows the answer. So if you if you're a good boy like myself, you just open up and and let it flow. It's part of who you are. It's part of who you are. And if she's the one that God has sent to help you and be your helper and helpmate, uh, she will begin to mold you. She, that's what she'll do. She'll begin to mold you and say, okay, when I send you a text next time, uh, I think, you know, if you're not in lecture room or you're not at work or uh, you have your break time, at least by your break time, lunch hour time, uh, by one o'clock, you should reply my text, okay? That's what I think that I'm expecting from you. That's what she will do. She'll begin to straighten you. She, you know, some, you know some, men, some men are not educated. Some men are not well done. And that's why God has laid this on my heart, that you don't have to moan and cry all the time. Your relationships don't have to go through the, through the, through the uh, gravel all the time. Mm, by, by, by good tutoring and good teaching in the power of the Holy Spirit. She will test your affection. Number one, she will, she will let you know that she is single and that, that and she is available. She is completely single. She is available and that you are going to be the one to pursue her. Uh, it's not wrong in some cultures that, that they allow the women to pursue the men, but 
uh, for me, I think biblically, uh, I want to stick with the Bible culture for the man to be the lion to pursue uh, the uh, woman. And number two, she will directly or indirectly let you know that she's interested in you. And then she will, she will tack, it's just what they do best, tactically withdraw. Tactically withdraw and, 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 and see what you do with that. If you're a good man, you read, you read that real good, man. And you can write me. You can write me at Reverend Sammy at harvestways.org. You can call me to the numbers you see at the bottom of the screen. It's plus four four seven seven five eight one nine five four six six. You write me, you call me, you go to our website, www.harvestways.org, and 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 let me be your coach. For nothing. For nothing. Or next to nothing. Let me be your coach by the power of the Holy Spirit so that you can really be a good catch. You know when the 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 pride of of of, of lions are coming. They always been led by by a big a big papa. The big papa comes out and lead the other pride. And in the pride, we have the women. We have well the lionesses. And we have the lions. We have the uh, boy lions. We have the mid range lions. But the real papa is the one with the big mane, and and he got his 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 paws are uh, uh, heavy and 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 thudding and and, and the sound and of the of, of the footstalls when he's coming. All the little, all all the little, all the little ones go go lay down for the big one to come. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same way, same way it is in the Holy Spirit. Same way it is in the work of God. And when it's time now for the little cubs to be taught how to how to hunt, uh, the big papa go show them how to hunt. He show them how to hunt, and then uh, he, 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 he tells them what to do with their hunting. So that's exactly how it works. I'm having a call right now from here, but I'm going to have to keep this right here because I am speaking. I forgot to uh, switch this off, uh, but we'll have to uh, talk to them later on after the ministration, okay? So just like the Papa Lion begin to teach the small lions how to hunt, in the same way, I want to teach you. I want to be your coach. Let me be your coach by the power of God. Let me be your coach. Let me be the one that God has sent into your life this time to remove your sorrow, remove your frustration in not being able to catch, uh, you know, uh, your, your meal, <laughs> yeah, the, the meal for your lifetime. Let me be the one that God will use to bless you today. So write me in every way. Number three, she will test your affection. Number four, if she is a godly girl, godly woman. Now, I'm saying this because uh, I, I, my job is not to go the other side. I'm not looking over the fence. I am not looking. I'm not interested to look over the fence. I am looking at the word of God. The Bible says, as he that has called you is holy, so you also be holy in every manner of conversation. Okay, every manner of, of, of dealings, every manner of day-to-day -day livelihood, every manner of day-to-day -day, uh, relationship, every manner of day-to-day uh, 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 conversing with other people. That's what that word conversation means. Now, she, if she's a woman of God and she is well tutored and born of the Holy Spirit and she's a born again Christian, she will not, number four, she will not play mind games with you. And she will not play with your mind, she will not play with your head, and she will not play with your emotions. However, However, if, you sh if she's from the other side of the fence, if she's a goat, I'm talk I, say, I, I presume that I'm talking to sheep, the sheep of the Lord. Uh, people that are born again, people that, that are the sheep of the Lord. And the sheep will meet with the sheep and mix with the sheep and relate with the sheep. Not the goat and the sheep mixing together. Oh, there be some sheep that prefer to go relate with the God. They think that their, their freedom has been curtailed, it's been broken. And say, so though they, they go look for, for uh, uh, breakages in the fence, and they want to, to squeeze through to get out the other side. It's happening in every farm, happens every farm. And the sheep farmer knows how to guard against that. We fix and mend the fences. We make sure that we shut the gates at night. We make sure that we do not allow the wolves, a pack of wolves, to come in. Uh, they, 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 there be some, some folks that, that they are wolves and they are in sheep's clothing. 
we can only get them by their face, by, by the little part of their head that is exposed, and by the Holy Spirit that is showing them. The Bible says that the word of the Lord is quick and sharp, and sharper than every two-edged sword, piercing through the dividing of the asunder of the soul and the spirit, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart of men. And when we preach the word of God like this, we can see that the sheep begin to receive the word of God. We can see also by experience that the goats begin to rebel at the words of life. If she's a sheep of the Lord, guess what she will do? She will not play mind games with you. Play mind games is playing with your emotions, playing with your mindset particularly people that are far away on the internet. Uh, you meet somebody on the internet and, and all you do is just you, you speak on Skype and speak on WhatsApp or any of these apps on the phone or, or things like this. Uh, I, I say to you that that's, that's a baby game. That's a baby game. You gotta quit playing baby game. You gotta, you gotta get out someday and fly over, whether you're gonna crawl or you're gonna, you're gonna walk or you're gonna go on the train or go on your bicycle, I don't care, I don't care how you get there, you're gonna find a way someday to go meet them face to face. Uh, this is somebody that you want to spend the rest of your life with. Uh, don't play, don't play, don't play gamble with your life. Don't, don't play, don't play Disney World with your life. Uh, you, you gotta get serious and I always preach it that you gotta, you gotta find someday uh, that you're gonna have to meet them face to face and and be able to to be in the presence of each other if they are from the lord they wouldn't play with you uh, there are some players some men are players i i believe by the holy spirit that i am going to also make the second part of this series like i said earlier on uh, for you to know when a man is interested in a sister today i'm dealing with how you know as a sister uh, that uh, uh, you know as a, as a man that a sister is interested in you. There be some gold diggers. That's what they call them. I didn't say so, it's just a slang. Come on, I'm just being contemporary here. There be some gold diggers. Uh, yeah, you know what a gold digger is? He's looking for a gold man. You know what a gold man is? It's somebody who is rich and, and heavy and carried does it, and loaded. They say heavy, rich, carried, loaded. Those are the words I use. And all she's looking for is, is particularly when they're younger, is what she's looking for is, is a sugar daddy, a, a sugar, a sugar boy, a sugar boyfriend. And and all she's going to do is just play up his emotions, play up his emotions, and take as much money as she can take away from him. We don't do that. A Christian born again sister. Christian born again girl does not do that. She's complete. In fact, that's that's the first thing I said. If somebody is a gold digger, it's a sign of them not being complete. They are not completely single. They are they are broke. They are broke. They are looking for help, for financial help, and not a relationship. They are not looking for a helper. They are not looking for a helper. The Bible says it's not good for men to be alone. Therefore, I'll create a helpmate that is suitable for him. That kind of a person is not going to be suited to you. It's not going to be suit. You know that word suited is taken from the word like like suit. Look at like this one I'm wearing right now. It's tight fitting. It's it's my size exactly my size. Look at it. It's just the way it is. Uh, if if you're wearing something bigger than you, if you <laughs> if you're going with a gold digger, you're going to be going uh, for somebody who is going to be digging uh, your graveyard. You don't want to do that. A Christian girl does not begin to take yeah, heavy, quote, quote, heavy gifts and before marriage. You don't do it. Thank you for listening to today's broadcast. To become saved, follow the ABCD steps of salvation today. A, accept you're a sinner. B, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. C, confess Jesus as Lord and Savior over your life with your own mouth. And D, depend on the power of the Holy Spirit to live the new life in Christ. Pray this short prayer with me. Heavenly Father, please forgive my sins today. Come into my heart and write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer, we want to assure you that you're forgiven 
and have become a child of God, write Reverend Sammy Joseph today. He would love to hear from you. Worship with us at any of our branches where you would be welcomed with warmth and love. To reach us, simply call the phone number that you see on the screen for the church in your region. You may also write us or visit us online at harvestways.org. The Harvest Ways International Church, Holloway Hall, Lay Hill, Northfield, Birmingham, England, B311TT, telephone country code 44 785 467 5159, Sundays at 12 p.m. and Friday Bible study at 7 p.m. Reverend Sammy Joseph has written several books that are available through Harvest Ways website at harvestways.org. Enjoy inspiring and rich teaching through each one of these engaging books. Destroying the power of delay, possessing your Canaan, before you step into someone else's shoes, and Gideon, releasing the potential within you. Visit harvestways.org to order your copy today. You may also support this ministry on the same website, harvestways.org, by clicking the Sow a Seed button. Connect with Reverend Sammy on Facebook and Twitter, searching for Sammy O. Joseph. This broadcast has been paid for by the Sammy Joseph Ministries. We thank you for your generous support.